You pay me to clean up this mess you've gotten yourself in. You tell me what you want me to do. You don't need to know how I do it. We meet just once before the job is complete. You give me the 25 grand, okay? Yes. Good. His name? William Lynch. He's the MP. Give me six hours and I'll have everything I need to expose his affairs. And might I add, a journalist in your position, try not getting involved with a member of parliament again. He needs to have his career destroyed. You know, men like him deserve everything they get. On behalf of someone else, and I've been looking over my shoulder ever since. I need someone like you who can fix my problem. If you're interested, meet me tomorrow morning at 11. I don't work for free. It'll cost you. 30,000. More. I won't be working for a while after this. I'll see you at 11. Come in. I need you to help me keep the media from getting hold of some information. If you trust me. Of course. I need to keep someone from exposing certain things I've done. She thinks she can threaten me. I want all the evidence she may have of our affair buried. I want you to destroy anything that can link us together. Here's 40,000. Her address. News is live, so I need to tell Hugh when she'll be out. Politics and affairs don't go down well with the voters. And don't let my wife find out. We have a problem. Yeah. Meet me in two hours at Wellington Row. of someone else's argument. It's not about doing what's right. It, it's about needing to get out of the game. Yes, we'll take the money, and you can do that. But I need you to do this for me. 
It's getting worse. I, I think he's got someone following me. He needs to realize you can't use people for power and then simply pay his way out. Please. Hello? Tell me what you're doing with Natasha. You didn't think that I might find out. You told me to trust you. You have no idea how I can ruin your life. Anything you thought you wanted to do after all this, you can postpone. I dug a little deeper to see how you actually did deceive the police. Long story short, I now have all the evidence I need that could put you away for 10 years. Aiding and abetting a convicted murderer doesn't settle very well with the police. You think you're the only one of us who has any leverage? Do these names ring any bells? Jemima Kingsley? Emma Holt? You don't have any proof. <laughs> well, if you say so. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give you a time and a place. You understand? You don't want me having control over your life with the images I got. And I know I don't want you showing any, anyone the pictures you say you have. Meet me, 10 p.m., Travel Lodge, room 208. Booked under the name Wells. Bring me back my money and the money Natasha gave you or nothing happens. What if I take this evidence to the police now? You haven't done this before, have you? the pictures here's what I'm prepared to offer I give you these you hand over the bag both lots of money we shake hands and go our separate ways you can get out of your life and I can keep mine I know we do things we regret, things we probably shouldn't have done. But when a man in my position doesn't take full advantage of the opportunities, the women, or what kind of man would that make him? We're both only human. No matter what we might like the people around us to think, we just pages from the same book. At the end of the day, we've both made mistakes. In your case, 
hiding a murder weapon for someone probably covers that, wouldn't you say? I would. Good. Then we're on the same page. Just so I'm sure. That's it? I can move on? We need never meet again. I'm done. 